What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Garrett here. And uh, lots changed since I've made a, a video previously, but chief among which, well, I, maybe not chief among which, but one of those things is, uh, is that I've been using Flutter recently. I had this idea for an app and I've been teaching myself how to use Flutter and how to, how to write in Dart. And so I thought as I'm going through things, as I'm doing stuff and learning stuff, I'm gonna make some videos, said that kind of weirdly, uh, I'm going to make some videos, show you guys how to do some things that I maybe find challenging or don't find challenging or just think there could be better documentation on, whatever it may be, um, and provide like a visual approach to maybe the documentation that they have on Flutter's website. And then also, we're just going to be building some cool stuff with Flutter. So I've been working on this app that I kind of had this idea for. It's like uh, a way to, you know, meet new people, kind of like a dating app, but not for dating, really just for meeting new people. Um, and so um, I thought as part of that, since I need to figure out a way to upload uh, images from my app um, to Firebase, I would show you guys how to do that. So in this video, we're just going to be doing the image picker part because that's all I've actually done myself. Uh, and then in the next video, we will be going over how to actually upload those images uh, once the user picks them, how to upload them to Firebase. So, without any further talking, because I tend to do that a lot, let's get started. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find our package, and the one that I'm going to use is this one right here, which is actually from uh, the Flutter team, I believe. So, this is called Image Picker. Just type in Image Picker, and, and you can basically find it just the same. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install this. So we'll go over and copy the dependency into our pubspec.yaml file, just like so. We'll hit save, and then you'll see right here, Flutter basically uh, on hitting save goes and actually gets everything for me. The next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to come here into the info.plist file, and you can find that by going to iOS and then runner, and then info.plist, and I believe for Android, you don't have to do that. Well, I know for Android, you don't have to do that, but I think it will just work. There's no configuration required. Um, and so once you've done that, type in these things here, right here, this is what you need. So pause the video really quick and make sure uh, that you type that incorrectly because otherwise I'm assuming it won't work. I haven't really tried it, but um, without doing that, I should say I haven't tried it, but that's what their documentation says to do. So, um, go to, I will, by the way, I will link, uh, in the description below the, the link to this package, uh, on, uh, pub.dev, which is the like package website, I guess you could say it's like the NPM, uh, .com or .org or whatever it is, but for, uh, Dart. So I'll link to this package down below, but just copy that into your plist file. If you want to use iOS, that is, I should say. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and actually uh, import this into our file right here just by doing that right there. And then once we've done that, if we're actually good to go. We can start coding. We're going to actually first go and create a new variable here. Uh, you could technically dynamic, wait, hold on, dynamic image, and this should actually just be nothing. Now, technically, the documentation does say to make this a file. However, uh, you will note, maybe, for whatever reason, file gives me an error. Let's see if maybe, maybe that works from Dart.io. Let's see if that works. It was giving me an error before. Uh, but let's see if that works. So now we'll come down here and we're going to add in a function that actually says, what do we want to do when you click on, you know, get file, right? So we'll have get image. We have this function here. And inside we'll have a variable called image. And this will basically also really quick. This is an async function that may look familiar uh, if you are coming from the JavaScript world like I am. Uh, that's very familiar to me. So we'll do async await, and then we'll say image picker, right? Uh, image picker, that sh 
should. Yeah, that's, we already imported that. Cool. Um, pick image. And then inside here, we will have the source. And this will be set to image source. And this will be gallery for our purposes. Okay, great. The next thing we need to do inside of this function is we need to have set state. So in fact, that would tell us that we need to have a stateful widget. So make sure that the widget that you are doing this in is a stateful widget because we do need it to be a stateful widget. And I will also, by the way, have a video coming out that goes over the differences between stateful and stateless widgets. It's kind of similar to React if you're familiar with that. Um, it's also a little bit different than React. But either way, that'll be uh, another video, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm basically gonna be coming out with like a ton of content on Flutter. Basically, like you could learn content from my video. You could learn Flutter completely from my videos and Dart. That's kind of my goal. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have image. We're gonna set this equal to the right here image. Where's the error expected to find? Oh, I knew that, right? So we're gonna have that. Now, what this is doing is that we will have this image picker come up and when the user selects an image, it'll basically get set, this image that they select will get set to this image right here, okay? Simple as that. Let's give that a shot. The other thing that we're gonna do just to make sure that this works before we go on any further is we're going to print this. So we will say image, um, like so, and then we will do question mark, and we will say image. It might look a little bit weird if you don't know Dart, but basically this is the same thing, more or less, no, not more or less, it is the same thing as string interpolation. I will also have uh, a full, actually maybe I'll do like a full series on Dart because it's really difficult to learn Flutter if you don't first know Dart, which is something that I have discovered in the past two or three weeks. So be that as it may, we can move on. We have that. Now, what I have here, obviously, are these six things, uh, these six kind of square things. And each one of them is a button. Uh, so if we come over here, I will clear this. If we come over here, you can see that when I click on them, uh, we basically have, uh, we print something, print is the same thing as console log. And that basically gives us the uh, the proof that we are in fact clicking on something. So now what we're gonna do is for this number one thing here, instead of doing whatever inline function we want there, we're just gonna say get image. And actually it's not gonna be um, called right there. We just wanna reference not to actually, uh, I forget what the word is, call it? That's what we're doing, I forget what the word is, whatever. So now what we're gonna do is we will say print, or we will say plus. You might notice something a little bit different happens. For you guys, it should hopefully say, do you want to allow this? I've already gone through this process because I was building it and learning how to use it. So for me, I've already hit yes, allow this phone app to get access to like my you know uh, pictures and camera and stuff. But we're gonna go here. We will click one of these random pictures uh, that the OS has on it already. And you might have noticed nothing has happened. So you might be thinking, well, that didn't really work. Now did it? But you'd, you'd kind of be wrong because in fact it did work. If you've noticed down here, we now have the path to our file. So this actually did in fact work. And now what we can do is come down here and basically say, hey, either show this icon, right? which is what we have here, or, or better yet, show the image, right? Um, and so to do that, <clears throat> wow, I'm really going horse here. Uh, to do that, we are going to go like this. Uh, we will say image is null, right? Or, uh, so if it's null, then show the icon. And if it's not null, then we want to show the image. To do so, we will have image file, and then I believe it's just image. 
And actually, as you see, we have this, the image actually did pop up. So I will now show you uh, what this looks like if we were to start this process from start to finish, just excuse the fact that I have to sign in. This is just the app that I've been working on. Um, I will go over all this stuff in a later video, uh, but ignore it for now. We go here to the edit profile section. We click on this add image. We choose our image, we'll pick a different one for now. And there you go, it worked. Our image comes up just like, uh, just like we wanted it to. So thank you guys for watching so much. If you wouldn't mind, if you'd be so kind, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what other videos you guys wanna see in the future. And also hit that thumbs up button because it helps out the channel a lot. And also subscribe if you wanna see more videos like these down the road. Flutter. Eventually, I'll be doing videos on Python because I'm getting back into that as well for work. And, uh, and as always, JavaScript because I do that at work too. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.